knowing where you are in any kind of skill will actually determine what kind of practice you need to improve. In this channel, I have shared with you guys how to copy design or how to steal design so that you can improve your UI UX design skills. However, these techniques are useless if you don't know at what stage of UI design skill you are at so that you can gauge what kind of practice routine you need to establish. That is why in this video, I'm going to show you how I evolved in my UI design skills and I will show you what kind of a practice type you need to do to go to the next level so that you can develop your skills the fastest. So let's say you are at this level. So this is the kind of screen that you can design where you don't have particular alignment skills. You kind of don't understand the color theory or what kind of a color scheme you need to have because you look at the CTR color here and the button navigation color here. And you also don't understand the usage of typography where the type you picked are actually not that good and they are pretty contrasting. At this point, what would help you is basically invest in a book like this that would teach you the fundamentals of design. So once you master the fundamentals and let's say you redesign the same screen, you would be kind of around here where you understand how alignment works, spacing works, etc. But the main problem you have is but you are making small mistakes such as why is the left side alignment 24 pixels and right side is 17 here. It should be roughly around here so that we have the left and the right spacing correctly. And why is uh, is the header and the tertiary element not centered. So if we actually got it here, where roughly we are centered, it would look a lot better. Or for example, why is the distance between the header of the same group of the paragraph almost the same as the header below it, right? So it should probably be around more here. These kind of mistakes add up over time and one way to get rid of them is to not read any more books. You really can't solve this problem with consuming more information. What you now need is to actually get actually feedback from people who are better than you so you can realize these mistakes and correct them. So if you cannot afford one-to-one -one mentorship, the best thing you can do is to learn how to copy design from designers that are better than you. And if you watch this video, I'm pointing at again, that will walk you how to implement this so that you can actually master this and move to this next level. So let's say now you are here where you corrected the small mistakes and you did your copy design work. The problem with this design is actually a lot of the fundamentals are actually working, but the designer is probably limited. Meaning when they are considering, let's say, creating an information hierarchy, they are considering sizing first, which many beginners or journeymen do. What I mean here is that they make the header much more larger than the paragraph text. And that is the only way they know how to do it. But there are other ways to do it, such as you can make it bolder, you can change the color, you can, let's say, underline, you can do various different things where you don't need to just use one differentiator attribute to actually make your elements have hierarchy. To solve this problem where you need to have more tools in your toolbox is to actually use the stealing technique where you go and find just like copy technique designers whose work you admire but you do not copy pixel by pixel now. What you do is you take the kind of the technique they use on a particular element and adjust it to another element. Meaning if they were using, let's say, a background gradient, you adjust it to, let's say, the button you use and you add the gradient there instead of the entire background of the whole screen. So once you go through all the fundamentals, information gathering, and let's say, stealing technique along with the copying technique, you kind of come to a base like this, which is my skill level right now, where, hey, instead of the header being, let's say, completely bold and much more size difference. I actually made the header smaller than the paragraph, but because it's bold and uppercase, it's still understood by the user, it's a header. And because I mastered the different ways to do these, it actually looks a lot more original. What you do to improve at this phase and what I'm trying to write, do right now, which is because this is where I am, I am actually trying to create much more like a design bank where I am finding the techniques I like from various resources, whether it's a website design or UI design, and I gather them all in one Figma page so I can reference them, meaning 
I have the tools at hand. What I'm trying to do is to get them closer to me. I don't want to go to dribble back and forth. I don't want to go to behind back and forth. I don't want to go to screen and back and forth. I want all of these techniques close to me and I want to add to them over time where the amount of tools I have will be so much that the designs I create all look unique but still usable and it elevates my game. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video and if you understand what kind of a stage of UI design you are on and you would like to improve your design skills, if you are a beginner, watch the copy design video or if you are more journeyman, please watch the ceiling video next.